Hey there, my Sagittariuses. This is your weekly reading. Please remember, not everything I say is going to resonate with everyone. So take what does and what doesn't, just throw it out. I went ahead, Sag, and shuffled your cards and meditated on them to get your messages. So let's go ahead and get into your week ahead, which looks awesome. So your message for the week, you have Marak. I hope I'm saying that. Marak. Marek, I cannot pronounce this at all. But what I'm getting right here is it says, well, it says embrace oneness with the universe. So I really feel like spirit is trying to tell you to, to connect with, with nature. You see how her feet are embedded in that grass right there? I really feel like some of you really need to go outdoors more and put your feet in the grass. It's gonna really help balance you. I also got this card right here for you. It says mosaic, I hope I'm saying it right, mosaic right here, and it says, let chance play its creative role in your life. So what I'm getting from this card is about basically micromanaging. I feel like some of you are actually trying to control a situation a little bit too much. And Spirit is saying, Try, stop that. You really need to stop it. You can't micromanage the universe. So, you know, what you're worried about is going to be successful. You're going to make it. Keep going. But you can't get caught up in all the little details I'm getting. Okay? Now, your actions this week is Divine Child right here. I feel like you have a lot of favor this week, Sagittarius, with the Divine Child right here. Like, you're highly favored and protected this week. Um... A lot of you I'm getting are in spiritual businesses. You do spiritual work. You're a light worker. You're a healer. Something like that. And I really feel that um, your business is really going to be taking off this week. So you don't really need to be worried about anything. Now for your feelings this week. How you're going to be emotionally this week. Sagittarius, give me just a second because I cannot pick up the cards. Okay. We have exhausted so make sure this week, Sagittarius, you're getting plenty of weight, uh, rest and you're doing some self-care right here because you're going to be feeling a bit exhausted, but also you're feeling a lot of love right here. Some of you are actually, <laughs> some of you are actually having some chemistry with someone this week. I haven't gotten to your love oracles yet, but there's some type of love. Um, you're feeling love around you, which is awesome, Sagittarius. Now, some of you have been worried about money. And you got the card. These, these are little cards that I made myself. I'm not really going to show them. They're kind of like crazy looking. But anyway, Spirit is wanting you to know that you don't need to worry about money. Okay? You don't need to worry about money. And you also got the message that the business is going to be successful. Some of you are worried about your business. What's, what's going to happen if it's going to be successful? Spirit says, yes, it will be successful. Okay? Don't worry about money. Also this week, Sagittarius, you have a tower moment. Something is going to come in this week that's going to change the way you see some things, which is great. This tower moment is actually leading to the four of wands, which is a very happy, stable, happy home, happy life. I like this. I like this card. Some of you will maybe be getting signs of 1111 because this does remind me of 1111 now that I'm looking at it. Um, but there's some type of tower moment that's going to shake things up and change change things it's going to lead to that that home that you've been wanting that stability that happiness so that's a good thing and we also have cardi b's get up 10 is one of your songs right here so i feel like you have that energy of you've been knocked down several times but you're getting up you're still moving and you're still pushing through but at the same time make sure that you slow down sagittarius because you're going to be feeling kind of exhausted this week okay um, also, you know, it's funny. Some of you are having a tower moment when it comes to dealing with family. Okay. Some of you are having some type of discord with family. Um, but, and everything's coming out that you may have suppressed. Everything's starting to come out, but this huge tower moment and everything just kind of the the shit hitting the fan is going to lead to something much more stable, a much more happier place for you. I feel like I need to tell someone out there. 
We also have Bob Marley's Redemption Song as a song for the week. So that's basically telling me that, yes, yeah, some of you are definitely light workers and will be stepping up and working on your business. But make sure you take care of yourself. Now, <clears throat> changes this week. We have Join In right here. And we have Parental Care. So let me get something to drink real quick. Hold on. Okay, so Spirit is asking you to join in with something. Some of you are kind of hiding away, um, not really being a part of something, and it's asking you to join in with something, and you know what that is for some of you. Um, and then we have parental care. Now, this is interesting because I really feel like you're mending a relationship with a family, a parent. There's some type of mending going on with this parental care right here some of you may actually be taking care of a a family and a mother or father who is um elderly i'm getting but i really feel like you guys are definitely mending some type of relationship there's some type of coming together now <clears throat> we have pay attention to red flags we have to pay attention to red flags. So for some of you in a relationship, you're getting signs that this person isn't quite right for you and you need to pay attention to those flags. That's what I'm getting. I'm definitely getting that. Um, and if this isn't a relationship, there's someone around you that's giving you some flags. Like you, your intuition is kicking in and spirit wants you to pay attention to your intuition, Sagittarius. Now, for your love, Cards, that was also a love card, by the way. Love oracles. But um, from your love compass oracle, because I pulled, I wanted to pull one of these for you, but you got three. So we have support here. And we have communication. And we have chemistry right here. So I really feel like there's a lot of chemistry between you and a person this week for some of you. Um, and then I feel like, you know, and I, it's, I think Mercury's in retrograde right now. This is popping up a lot in my readings. Um, make sure that you're having clear communication with the person you're with. If you're happy with someone, make sure that you guys are really communicating clearly, slowing down and just having clear and open communication because this person is going to be, um, cause communication is going to be a bit off this week for you and that's Okay. And then I want to read what the support says. It says your spiritual team is assisting you with this situation. Reach out with your reach out with your awareness and call forth what you need in your life at the moment. Open up and allow yourself to receive help from those around you. Your angels and guides are working through other people to provide support you need. So I really feel like some of you may be trying to do too much on your own. And Spirit is saying, you know, ask for support. Some of you are in a relationship and you don't really ask for help and you might be feeling overwhelmed and you really need to ask your partner for some support and help and not try to do everything on your own, okay? And I also, oh my gosh, I love these right here. Your tea leaf oracles are amazing this week, okay? You got, are these tea leaf? Yeah, tea leaf. You got opportunities are opening for you. So well, no, it says opportunities are waiting for you. So you have opportunities opening up for you this week. So we love that. And then we have bread. And this says a period of prosperity and abundance. We all love that. So you're entering a period of prosperity and abundance. And you have more than enough Sagittarius. I love that. Can I come over to your house? You are sitting really pretty and comfortable. <laughs> And then you also got, oh my goodness, you got the bowl right here, Sagittarius. So this says plenty of material things. You are, you are the divine child this week. You are. You're favored. You're favored. You're comfortable. You're happy. You're doing the thing. All I have to say, Sagittarius, is make sure you slow down. If you feel like you need a break, slow down. You know, drink some tea. Enjoy what you have. And don't worry about anything because if you're worried about money, Spirit says you're entering you're entering a stage of prosperity with plenty of material things you're taken care of. You're good. You're very favored right now. So I'm I'm happy. I'm happy for you. I'm happy for you. All right. And one you have an affirmation this week. 
And Spirit wants you to say this every day. It says, I am grateful for all that I have. You need to say this every day. I am grateful for all that I have every morning so that that stuff continues to increase, okay? Because Spirit wants to continue giving to you. You're favored. All right, if you like this reading, hit, a, hit the thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you really like it. And I will talk to you, Sagis, later.